over at the Sioux valve grinding machine. I was just breaking this setup down here. I just I just faced the uh, the wheel, the grinding wheel there with the uh, little uh, diamond in yonder. It's got a diamond up in there. The uh, the, the chuck on this machine has, is set at a 45 degree angle in relationship to this grinding wheel. And, and, and if, I may, if I may suggest, uh, the uh, a ser uh, video series, Mr. Pete 222, uh, check him out. He, he has a, a very good educational video uh, on how to face a grinding wheel. Very good. Also, uh, Keith uh, Keith Farmer, I believe it is, over at Turn Right Machine Shop. You know, check out their their, their videos there. Um, they're very good, very good educational videos. Both of them, I recommend them highly. Getting on with the show here, and this is a machine that most likely you're not going to have in your in your shop, but you may have access to one. If not then you can actually a tool post grinder in a lathe will 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 accomplish the same thing that this does i don't like to use a tool post grinder because of the grinding stuff and i do have this over here in the dark side of the shop and 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 even turning with a carbide bit in the lathe over there you can get a very good 45 degree angle on your valve face that will function very well, very well. It's just that I do several of these valves, and I do have this machine, so I am going to use it. And the way you use that, and I do have it adjusted in the back with a stop. That's the correct length for these, and you push that back till it stops. Let go of the, uh, it has a, a quick release. Let go of that. This is in there tight. The wheel has been faced, and to face the valve, Make sure that everything is correct. Don't, don't, uh, that's locked down out of the way. Everything is secure. The, uh, turn the machine on. The, and the, it does have a lever down here where we'll get a, when you come up to a certain place, the check, chuck engages. And you come up to a position where the valve face is in already onto the grinding wheel. You do not want to let the valve leave the wheel at any time. And slowly, gradually bring the wheel to the valve face. At all, at, at all times, working the valve back and forth. You do not want to be at any one place at any time. And bring the, and you can see that I have made contact, and and that just goes to show that they are a high place because it's not grinding completely around the valve. I think these are fairly true, and I can see you looking at it. Looking at it from a sideways here with the light shining on it, I can see that it's a very small area that's not making contact. And that area went, it went away at that point. So I've only moved the hand wheel about three thousandths. I'm going to back the stone away from the uh, valve face and look at it. Okay. Turn it off. Let it coast down. The the valve, the 45 degree angle is that's the area that I was turning. I feel that that this one is I feel it's it's completed so I'm going to go ahead and remove it from the machine and these chucks are quite accurate 
you you can move remove this valve from that chuck and put it back in any position and it should line up correctly let the uh, let the wheel come to a stop remove the valve and observe the that's 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 a completed valve let me wipe it with a cloth get the fingerprint away from it in the light if we can get a shine on it when you turn that valve around that is uh, it's fairly close to a factory finish completely all the way around and going by the dial on the uh, valve machine the head on this valve was within three thousandths and that was a lathe turning plus being beat with a ball peen hammer that's good enough for here on the east coast of Arkansas that's good enough let's do the rest of them covered the face of this valve with layout die let's affix it in the machine and turn that face then we'll look at it continuous spark the, uh, to make a cleanup and kind of just for the camera there let's go just a, a few uh, a few thousandths no more than two or three let's go one more you see that continuous spark that indicates that the valve face is making contact completely around the valve. Well, okay, let's shut her down and remove the valve and inspect it. To remove that valve, you do not bring the valve from the face of the wheel. You want to back the grinding wheel away to keep the valve moving at all times and back the grinding wheel away from the valve face and then remove it. Okay, let's uh, remove that valve and look at it. Let the, let the wheel come to a complete stop before you get over in there fidgeting it around. One of them safety things. Okay, it's coming to a stop right there now. Okay, to remove that from the, the face right there and to go around through the inner, can you all see that light shining on the inner? You know, that's good enough right there. I got a couple fingerprints on it when I removed it there, but, you know, that's that's okay. We could work with that. Let's put that in the engine. 